from the morning observation, what uh, I could make out is GST is basically uh, it, it absolutely depends on input tax credit mechanism. Right? Uh, say for example, I'm a supplier. I supply goods. I don't pass this ITC to next dealer. I upscore. Okay. Do you have any strict rules and regulations uh -huh. to find out this missing trader? Yes, yes sir. In fact, this was a major concern and our existing indirect access. Correct. Do you have any rules and regulations? Yes. 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 I think I gave one Bahubali example also. <laughs> Prabhas and Tamanna. You know, the matching concept. See, this is the inbuilt mechanism of what we have built in GST. We built a law in such a way that supplier has to pay tax, supplier has to upload the return, okay, and he has to submit the return. And similarly, the buyer has to upload as a submit and he has to keep the invoices with it. Then only he get the credit. So it's a push-pull trade. Earlier it was not like that. What actually was happening in the earlier regime, it was happening. In this particular scenario, if the buyer doesn't have an invoice, if the supplier has not uploaded the data, he has not paid the taxes, the buyer is not getting a credit at all. So when I'm not getting a credit, what do I do? I'll always pay the supplier to upload that particular information. So it's already taken care of. One more last yeah. question. You know, uh, this is uh, maybe a stupid question, but I just wanted to clarify. Get it clarified. Uh, ultimately, tax burden is shifted to consumer in his direct taxes. Can customer take this ITC benefit against income tax or any other kinds of tax tax like setting costs? Is there any possibility? Sir, end of the day, all benefits of the country is being used by the consumer only. Say, I am paying for more of my services. Look at that way. All 130 crore people, we are paying taxes for whose benefit? For our own benefits. And you are asking to set up the same benefit. Then don't have any services at all. Don't pay tax, don't do services. The setup is very clear. No, I'm not talking about the, I'm not paying tax. Okay. So, how customer can minimize this tax value? See, already, the, 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 that can be, that's a good question. See, how it can be minimized in that, right? If each and every citizen starts taking a bill, end of the day, the, the impact will come. That's Thank you. Thank you. See, as, no, no, no. As far as your input credit, you said, you said, can I take the payment of GST as an input credit to income tax? That is what you are asking. See, an apple can replace only an apple. Apple cannot replace a jackfruit. In, in the indirect tax is this GST. That is a direct tax. You cannot take credit of this indirect taxes over the payment of direct taxes. You cannot do it. And if you effectively analyze every citizen, the taxpayer, both in income tax and indirect taxes, effectively pays nearly 48 to 59 to 60 percent of the taxes, which you cannot minimize. That is a tax burden permanently is resting on your head. See, in a civilized nation, civilized person pay taxes for their growth of their civilization. Please understand. Without paying taxes, we cannot buy our citizens. This will be the last question. So I have a question. The government nor the GST council can be blamed for how ultimate the GST uh, was with the different tax caps, right? Uh, given this backdrop, uh, it was puzzling why uh, it was decided to bring BD. You know what BD is, right? The smoke, uh, All the delegates are requested to listen the question. Uh, uh, under GST for health reasons, why BD was brought in for health reasons, and if this was the reasoning, uh, why was uh, pharmaceutical included in the demerit list? See, the tobacco and tobacco products and alcohol. Brought in for uh, taxes. That was, yes, that. that wasn't the question. Uh, okay. The question was that uh, these were uh, included in GST for health reasons, right? Not like that. No, but uh, in uh, a particular newspaper, it was written. Since those like what? So pharmaceutical, it is in the GST only. The industry, that is in the GST regime is there. If I, I'll go with the second question. But BD is also is there. Yeah, I know. Uh, it, uh, it was, yeah, the, it was uh, I guess you're not very familiar with this, but I'll, ask, I'll go with the second question here. Uh, you no, know, the first question was that it was included uh, in GST. I know that. 
So uh, why was pharm pharmaceutical products included in the D manifest? No, pharmaceutical products are not included in the D manifest. Which drug? No, pharmaceutical. That's why. That's why. What is it? You put it in a simple jar. Okay. See, see, medicines, medicines are taxable. Okay, but I answered your question. As far as BDs, you are asking about the BDs. BD is in fact, many states were not levying tax VAT and BDs. It was exempted. There was a lot of pressure on the central government and the state government to... Sir, but that's the conversion of people who are... Hold the mic, 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 other stuff from the time. But that's uh, like uh, for the people who are economically poor, right? It is not for the... That, that's exactly the question which the... Um, uh, um, uh, the health activists and the people at large were asking, you are not, by reducing the rate of tax, you are not making people healthy. And the delegates please maintain some silence. Yeah. That's why the, 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 we strongly recommended, in fact our state government was strongly recommended to the GST council to levy GST at 28%. In fact, now it is 28% of uh, BD. Yes, yeah, in fact, also. Now it has been, uh, it is not the case. Okay. Now the BDs are taxable. Sir, then. Yeah, Just give me one minute. So, if it was from the suppliers, right? If there are multiple sources of supply, will they be taxed on all the sources of supplies? Right? So multiple sources of supplies also taxable. It's not okay. No. Nice. <laughs> So with this, we are concluding this panel discussion session and uh, I'll hand over the mic to Swati. Thanks Thanks of gratitude to man of letters, none other than Dr. P. V. Murli Krishna sir and D.P. Prakash sir. Thank you so much sir for sharing your valuable insights and time with us. I'll turn the mic to my friend Akshay from Pioneer Beacon for the valid definition. Over to you, Akshay. Transformation and a step towards great transparency. Good evening to one and all present here. On behalf of Sin's family, I welcome you all to this valedictory. Today, we had deep insights into the several issues on GST and its implications. We had scholars from state and national level to enlighten us both in theoretical as well as practical aspects of GST. On behalf of Sin's family, I thank you all for being here on this auspicious occasion. Now, I request... Good evening, one and all. Distinguished dignitaries on the dais and off the dais. Greetings from Sin's family. A warm welcome to you all to the valedictory. I, on behalf of Sa I, on behalf of Sin's family, at the very outset, I take this opportunity to welcome the Chief Guest, Sri B. V. Ravi Sir. Additional Commissioner, Department of Commercial Tax, Government of Karnataka. As a token of love and affection from the Sims family, I request our beloved CEO, Sri M. Ketan Kumar sir, to hand over the bouquet to the Chief Guest. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I also extend my hearty welcome to Sri S. Siddhapa sir, Additional Commissioner of Commercial Tax, Government of Karnataka, who has extended his wholehearted support in organizing today's seminar, who is well versed in the area of taxation and a good orator. Now, may I request our beloved principal, Dr. Surya C. Hegre, sir, to hand over the bouquet and the memento, expressing our token of love and respect to our country and to the person. The CEO of Sound Area Educational Trust, Sri M. Kirtan Kumar, sir. As a token of love and affection, it's my humble request to Professor Ravi sir, head of BBA, to welcome the president of the Bokki. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, I also take this opportunity to welcome our beloved principal, Dr. Suresh C. Hegre, sir, to this valedictory function. I request Professor Pravin Kumar, HOD of BCA, to hand over a bouquet to our principal, sir. Thank you, sir. I, I also welcome all the delegates here to the valedictory function. I welcome one and all. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, today, distinguished resource persons have shared and guided us about GST in this function. Now, I should inform us for presenting the report. 
a new way to think before you can master a new way to do. With this quote, I, Harita, faculty, Saundarya Institute of Management and Science, standing before the August gathering to share the abstract level report of today's national level seminar on GST and its implications. Ladies and gentlemen, I strongly believe that seminars and conferences are the perfect platform to relearn ourselves for the enrichment in academics. The day inaugurated with a keynote address by Sri Ravi sir, Additional Commissioner of Commercial Taxes, Government of Karnataka. In his address, he gave a comprehensive picture about GST and its implications. He also strongly believed that GST will increase revenues and strengthen India financially because of GST. This means, directly or indirectly, it creates more number of avenues for implementation of GST and about the reformation that has strengthened the wings of Indian economy. My dear delegates, a lively discussion is usually helpful because the hottest fire makes the finest steel. The panel discussion by the eminent personalities who cleared the confusions in the minds of the delegates to a maximum extent. Ladies and gentlemen, I take this privilege to bring it to your kind notice the number of delegates attended to this particular seminar is nearly 350 from 62 colleges and they are from different corners of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka and Tamil However, it was a bit problem to accommodate us in the current The day for the delegates have helped to know how GST will help our nation to grow in an enormous way and the overall session <coughs> draw down its curtains with the right clarifications. Thank you. Thank you, Monica. <laughs> because in the morning, the commissioner should have come and because of his pre-engagement, he could not come before I had to navigate. And uh, I think in the morning, I had to use all my thoughts and how GST and all to add all supplement to the deliberations which we people had in the morning and also about the GST and also the questions which came across. One person just tries that to say that you know, there are a lot of pictures and all other things. And Vasamane Kattaga, any new house, definitely when you move from an old house to the new house, how difficult to manage one house. When the Vasamane Kattaga, one Mane Nali, you know, Samane Nala, correct and George to make one another Ganda and the year of this is a Jagada Dinka. Even before, when, the, when we moved from GST, sorry, from KST to the VAT in the year 2005, you'll be surprised to know that there were huge queues before our VAT officers. Huge queues, nearly 200, 300 people standing in front of the, the VAT officer and find money in the return payment at time for the checks were lost. So many, that was a chaos. In fact, we have overcome that. Your work huh? and I was in Hastin and I went to Arsikere to address one of the gathering and there was a big batch in the sense, volume of questions. Today I got only one question for that matter. I have nearly to 20, 20 to 25 questions of the same kind and we can't say that that is wrong. In fact, whatever you asked was not wrong but should have understood that the nation has progressed so much, should have patience to know that things have come to this stage, definitely it is not a Time. That's what I wanted to tell. And you know that. We know that this is a birth of an economic federalism as well. The country has faced all either two after the independence. And you know that. It is a, an integrated tax in the sense both center and state levying the tax together. It's an integrated tax in the sense once the state cannot leave aside the center or center cannot leave aside the state. Now, in that sense, it has integrated the nation as a whole. We, we know that many institutions are there to see that the integration of the country is seen in many institutions, like that the Constitution of India or a President of India, like that many institutions are there. The one more institution or a reform which has brought that national integration as such is the GST because the one tax which has so, which has seen that the whole country is uh, came, uh, came together to embrace a new tax that is GST. I think on 29, 30, 31st, man in the street, even in the man in the street might not have known who is Amitabh Bachchan or Aishwarya Rai, but everybody needs 
knew that what is GST. Everybody was talking about GST, and if anybody had given a rating to Amitabh Bachchan, Aishwarya Rai, or GST, GST would have hit the maximum number of hits on that these days because the nation, the whole nation was grateful with the GST. I think if anybody would have viewed the news channels on that, they would have cheated the Disya because then that headquarter, I was flooded with the phone call. When you ask for an advertisement on GST, they were asking us to charge Atle Lakshagate, Ait Lakshagate, Atle and for one video by it and uh, this migration and all. When on 29th, I was surprised, I saw all the channels, I am a world expert, I am a world expert, I am a GST panel discussion. I have to open many experts from our office. Everybody became an expert on that day. In fact, Murli Krishna was there and all live channels. Prakash was there and many were there except me because I have to organize everything and I have to give an advertisement the next day morning about the rates, what are the changes and all. In fact, everybody was watching the TV live, the rooms, so our officers were on the TV shows to give the right perspective of the GST. That is the way the GST has gripped the nation because and uh, the central government in its true sense has inaugurated the GST on the midnight of 1st July or whatever we got. You know that we, when we got a, a political freedom, we got the political freedom on 14th August in the 15th midnight and we got that economic freedom and the same central hall where our political freedom was opened up for the country, I think.